Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you two new colors of Milani Color Statement lipsticks that I picked up. Well, they're not new to the market, but they're new to me. Remember I said in a video not too long ago that there were two colors that I was on the fence about? Well, I decided that now was the time to get them because this is when the CVS buy one get one half off Milani sale was still going on. I've been trying to pre-film my videos in advance like a day or two in advance just in case I have something that I have to do that way I have a video to post so when I bought these lipsticks the CVS sale was still going on but by the time this video is posted it probably will be over. But yeah, so Milani was buy one get one half off at CVS all last week or this week. Because, <laughs> this week because this is when I'm filming. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I did end up getting those two colors and I'm so glad that I did because the one that I have on right now, I think this is just the perfect everyday color that will go with so many different eye looks. Um, a lot of times I love certain lipstick colors but then the eye look doesn't look quite right with the lipstick. You, I'm sure you know what I'm saying. I'm sure you've had that problem. This is just a great everyday lipstick that will go with everything. It's number 17 Plum Rose and that is what it looks like. That is what I have on my lips. And I know I said that I have a lot of MAC colors that are very similar to this, but this is a pretty bold statement, you guys, and I absolutely mean it, but I think I like these lipsticks better than my MAC lipsticks. I know that sounds crazy because, you know, MAC has a really good reputation for having good quality lipsticks, and they do, but these go on so perfect every time. I haven't had a dud yet. I keep trying new colors and just the way they apply. To me, the mark of a good lipstick is when you're done, do you want to put a gloss on top of that lipstick? Because if you do, then it's really not a good lipstick. A good lipstick should go on beautifully, not dry out your lips, and doesn't need a topper. Sometimes um, MAC lipsticks don't always give you the moisture that you need. Sometimes they can be a bit drying and I don't just mean the matte ones. I mean some of the other formulas too or they some of the formulas don't show up that well and you almost feel like you have to put a gloss on it just to give it more color. These are perfection. I can't believe that I only I'm just trying them now. These Milani Color Statement lipsticks are amazing and I just am so glad that I've gotten all the colors that I have while I could get them buy one get one half off at CVS. So I got this Plum Rose. Oh do you want did you want me to swatch that on my hand even though even though I'm wearing it on my face why not let's do a swatch anyway. So yeah that's just that perfect for me, it's a My Lips But Better color. It just really intensifies the color that my lips already are. So it's just a wonderful, the Plum Rose is a, an excellent description of the color. And then the other one that I was on the fence about that I ended up getting is Rose Hip number 14. And that is what this looks like. And this is a really bright wham in your face bright pink. And I've heard some people say this is a dupe for Candy Yum Yum. I've heard some people say this is a dupe for Pink Nouveau by MAC, both MAC lipsticks, but don't even care because, like I said, I, I like these better than MAC lipsticks. Um, oh, I can't even believe it. And for the price, you know, they're a third of the price. So let's watch this. I haven't used this one yet because I just got these. So yeah, this is just a really bright blue-based pink lipstick. And it looks like it's got a little bit of shine to it. But it could just be that it's such a um, 
moisturizing type lipstick that that's why it's coming off that way but so I'll have to let you know what I think about this one but it's pretty bright <laughs> so I'll see about that now as far as my eye of the day I just felt like doing neutral eyes today but I also wanted to stick with what I was saying about trying different combos of the Milani Bella eyes eyeshadows and I tried them in a combo that I hadn't tried before and again I love this this is I think one of the best combos that I've done so far let me just lean in a little bit and close my eyes so you can get a better look at the colors before I describe them yeah I love love this combo for my highlight I used Bella Chiffon and this is just an off-white highlight shade that's what that looks like I think the reason why I like this chiffon so much as a highlight is because it's not your typical off-white highlight shade it seems to be brighter it's got it's got some gold in it so it's just you know it's kind of unique and then on my lids I have Bella sand which looks like that and this is pretty much a gold color I mean it's called sand so sand is a golden color so that's what I have on my lids and it's funny because I a lot of times I don't look good in gold but this this is a gold that seems to work for me for whatever reason and then in my crease I have espresso and you know it's funny because I was so looking forward to trying the Bella taupe and I like the espresso better. Normally I would like any kind of taupe color better, but this is such an awesome crease color. I think out of the whole range, this is gonna end up being the best crease color with maybe the exception of, I really like charcoal too in the crease, but that has shimmer to it, so that's a little trickier to make it look wearable, whereas this one is a satin matte, so it's just perfect for a crease color but how perfect is that brown for the crease it's just it's great and I've used it in the crease with some of the other colors on my lids and it just looks amazing with all the neutrals that you put it with so yeah I love love this combination especially with the plum rose lipstick I think this is the perfect look for any occasion you know work school just every day uh, you don't have to it's kind of a, a fail-safe look I think that I'm gonna fall back on time and time again I'm keeping track of what I'm doing for looks uh, combos with these Bella eyes and I think I'm gonna put like a star <laughs> next to this one on the pa paper that I'm keeping track of so that you know just in case I start trying all different looks and then I forget about this because I've done that before where I'll find a combination of shadows that I really love with a certain lipstick and then I'm like oh yeah I gotta do that again sometime but then when it comes time to remember what the combo was I don't remember so putting all these looks down on paper and then you know putting a star next to the ones that I like the best is probably a good idea because the memory is not so good when you get to be my age. <laughs> um, so that's it for today, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.